Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we'll explore Midjourney's aspect ratio parameter. I'll show you how to set a custom aspect ratio so you aren't making square images forever. And I'll discuss why Midjourney might not always deliver images in the aspect ratio that you ask for. But first, what is an aspect ratio? Aspect ratio is a simplified way to describe the proportions of an image. Instead of specifying the dimensions in pixels, it represents the relationship between the width and the height of the image. And it is always written as width colon height. For example, an image with an aspect ratio of one to two means that the height of the image is double the width. The pixel dimensions of the image could be 100 by 200 or 1200 by 2400. Both of these conform to an aspect ratio of one to two. Here are a few examples of common aspect ratios. Part of my background is in photography, so I tend to use three to two and two to three quite a bit. When you look at these aspect ratios, you can tell which ones will produce images that are in landscape orientation or in portrait orientation. For aspect ratios that are in landscape orientation, the first number will always be larger than the second. And the opposite is true for aspect ratios that are in portrait orientation. Midjourney uses a default aspect ratio of one to one, in other words, a square. When I submit just a basic prompt in Midjourney, I get a square grid of square images. The grid's aspect ratio is one to one, as is the aspect ratio for each individual image contained within that grid. To change the aspect ratio that Midjourney uses, you need to include the dash dash AR parameter in your prompt. Dash dash AR is one of many parameters that can be added to your prompt to give Midjourney customized instructions. Parameters go at the end of your prompt and start with two dashes followed by the parameter name. For aspect ratio, we use the letters AR, then a space, and the value that you want. For this example, I will use a two to three aspect ratio. If you are adding multiple parameters to your prompt, just separate them with a space. Aspect ratios must contain whole numbers, no decimals. For a more advanced use, you can even change the aspect ratio when you perform a zoom out. Content will be added in the directions required to get to your new aspect ratio. If you have remix mode enabled in your settings, you can also change the aspect ratio during a reroll or during a variation. Now, while you can ask Midjourney to create images with any aspect ratio, you can't always get what you want. Each Midjourney model has a fixed range of aspect ratios and image resolution constraints. Did you know that if you ask Midjourney v5.2 for an image with a one to 20 aspect ratio, you'll actually get an image with an aspect ratio closer to one to 14, nine to 128 to be exact. Or that if you look at the dimensions of any image grid or upscaled image, that the side length is a multiple of 32 pixels. These are just two examples of constraints that affect the final aspect ratio. Each Midjourney model allows a certain amount of stretch, so to speak, for aspect ratios. In V5 models, you can go as tall as about 1 to 14 or as wide as about 14 to 1. Whereas in V4, you can't go beyond 1 to 2 or 2 to 1. Midjourney will pick the closest aspect ratio to the one that you requested that satisfies all of its aspect ratio and image resolution constraints. Sometimes it's the aspect ratio you requested, and other times it's not. Asking for an 11 to 14 image in V5.2 will give you one that's approximately 15 to 19. Close, but not exact. Often these differences are minimal, especially in the newer models, and they can easily be corrected by slightly cropping the image. Upscaling can also impact the aspect ratio. In V5 models, the initial grid already contains upscaled images, so when you click the U button for the first time, you're essentially just cropping to the image that you want from that grid, which is why V5 upscales are near instant. This differs from older models where clicking a U button for the first time triggers a job submission to an upscaler algorithm and then you wait for it to complete. In V5 models, upscale jobs are only submitted if you click the upscale 2X or upscale 4X buttons. So I share this information about aspect ratio constraints because when you're submitting your prompts, most Midjourney versions will not notify you when your requested aspect ratio is beyond the limits for that model. So if you've wondered why some of your images have a slightly different aspect ratio than what you prompted for, now you know why. And if you're interested in how other aspect ratios behave across all Midjourney models, I went down that rabbit hole. It was two in the weeds to cover for this video, but if you're interested, please check out the link in the description below. 
That's all for this video. Let me know in the comments if you found it helpful and please like, subscribe, all the things. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.